Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to have a look at how to do a simple VLOOKUP and a HLOOKUP. So first of all, a VLOOKUP. This is a small table I've got here, which I've named product code. This yellow cell is called input code. And then in the two black cells, there is a VLOOKUP looking at that. So what I'm going to do is just delete these two off and redo them. So you start off with equals VLOOKUP. Open the bracket. And now it wants the search criteria. The search criteria is this cell. You could put the actual search criteria in the formula itself up here, but I'm, going to, I'm just going to click on that cell. Now it said A2. Now I want to use the name, so I've called that input code. Input, get rid of the A. So input code, comma. Now it wants to know what the table's called. I've called that product code, product with an underscore code, comma. Now it wants to know what column of that table do I want. Well, I want the description, so it's a 2, column 2, comma, and then 0 for an exact match. And I'll close the bracket and then click the tick. And it comes back with nuts. So ABC, ABC, nuts. Now if I change that to a different code, it should come back with wherever that is. ABG, ABG, gaskets, gaskets. So that's basically what a VLOOKUP is. It's looking at a table of data and bringing back the relevant column. Now, obviously, I want the cost as well. So if I get this one, I can pull that across. It says gaskets because it's still looking at column two, and I want column three information. So what I now need to do is go and change this two at the top here to a three. Just highlight it, change it to a three, click the tick. And it's come up with an error message because it's got the three at the end there. So it's just careful what you're doing there. So get in there and change that to a three. Tick. And then it comes up with a 1.5. So for gaskets, it's £1.50. So this needs to be formatted to pounds, £1.50. So that's how you do that. Straightforward. You don't have to type it out again if you've used named cells and named ranges, which is what I've done there. Now... The HLOOKUP, if I go into HLOOKUP, I'll do this bottom example. The H means horizontal, whereas the V means vertical. So it's just how you've got your tables listed. So in this one, I've actually got conditional formatting active. So when you click on a PC, it goes to that and highlights it and brings this information back here. So maybe you want to print this stuff off and pin it onto a PC or something. And in there, you've got the formulas, HLOOKUP, etc., etc. So in this example, we have P PC records. Let's just see where that is. I think it's just this bit. Yeah, so it's just this bit is PC records. This yellow cell is called PC. Now, if I just delete, in fact, I won't delete all of it. I'll just delete the first one to 16 gig and then I'll type equals H lookup open the bracket so it wants to know what where I'm looking I'm looking at that cell again it's gone for the cell reference I want it to be the name which is PC which is picked that up so now I'm doing a comma what's the table called it's called PC records comma now instead of column i want the row so the title pc1 pc2 etc this stuff is the first row but this is a second row so i need to put a two there row two comma zero for an exact match close the bracket just check it click the tick and it brings in the 16 gigabytes from there and that's going to say row three that's going to say row four etc all the way down so you can see how that works. So by using HLOOKUP and VLOOKUP, you're basically bringing information into a an area of the screen that you can maybe print off or you just want to see, and um, you've got all the stuff there. If I look at this 
a, a second VLOOKUP. Let's have a look at this one, VLOOKUP example 2. If I put a code in there, it fills everything in. So let me just get rid of this comment box. Now there's nothing showing in this space here until I select a code and then it fills it in. And then when you put the figures in, it will work out the invoice for you. Now the reason it's doing that is, is because in this cell, there is a if statement or an if statement but it's basically saying, if there is no code selected there, don't do anything. Those two quotes means don't do anything. If there is a code, do the VLOOKUP. That's what that's doing. So when you print this off, you don't have loads of NAs, because NA is what would come up if there was no code there. And I'll show you that on the, the first example in a second. So you don't want any div zeros or any NA, so you can use an if statement to hide them. You can use if error as well. There's other formulas you can use. It's totally up to you, but this example I'm doing is just a straightforward if statement. Now, if I go back onto that first example and show you what will happen when there's no code. So at the moment, everything's working fine, but if there's no code, if I delete that, you get NA. The VLOOKUP returns NA. Now, if you don't want to see the NA because you might want to print this off and there's multiple lines like the invoice example, you have to put an if statement in front of it. So let's do that. So remember, an if statement's got three parts, a test, a comma, what to do if the test is true, then another comma, what to do if the test is false. So let's do that, if, open bracket. So if input code, that's what I've called it, equals zero, zero, not O, comma, quote, quote, means do nothing, comma, otherwise do the whole VLOOKUP. And then at the end, you've got to close the if uh, if statement. Tick goes blank. Pull that across like we did before. That'll go blank, but you need to change that to a three. Tick. And then I have to format that to a pound as well. Now, if I put a code in there, ABC, didn't format that to a pound, pound. Change the code. So whatever I do now, that's working. But if there's nothing there, it disappears, which is what I want. And that's basically how you can hide these error messages that if you don't want them to appear on a printed sheet. So hopefully that was of use to you. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thank you for your time. Hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye.